What's going on YouTube? This is your man, Veteran Trucker. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about making decisions, tough decisions on, you know, what you're going to do with your life after the military and for you guys that are civilians. I know uh, I refer to a civilian a lot, being that I'm a veteran, but... <clears throat> You know, that's just the military in me. It'll die out over time once I transition back to regular life and society. So, in this video, I'm going to tell y'all what made my decision to decide to go over to driving a truck. Okay, so, on my transition getting out of the military... I was job searching and everything. Couldn't find a decent paying job being a mechanic. Because that's what I'm good at. That's what I do in the Army. I was a truck driver for four years prior to this job in the military. Excuse me. But my decision to drive a truck was also ultimately impacted by, you know, various influential people in my life uh, my grandfather did it for several years before when I was a kid and um, I've talked to several other people that say you know veterans 90% of them if they don't start their own business coming out of the military they are truckers which is true um, so the ultimate goal is is when you are wanting to get into the trucking industry to find a company that you want to go with, i.e. a starting company. Me, I chose a company to go with. I'm going to uh, be driving for Prime. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm taking this on my cell phone. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, it's not because of all the YouTubers out there that been with Prime or anything like that, but... Is because a friend of mine that is actually a driver for Prime, that is a company driver, that is about to be teaming with one of our, my best friends, is uh, really uh, a good person to talk to about this. Um, he's been into the trucking industry for years, him and his father both, and both of these two guys are really good people. I've spoke with them through the years about it. And I finally decided to make my move. Now, people will tell you all the time that it is no life for a family man and that it is, there's no money in it. But, you know, coming from the military, getting job offers of, you know, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars an hour, you know, that just don't pay your bills. You know, when you got, you know, bills to pay, miles to feed, and stuff like that. So, this is going to be a learning process for me because I have not been in the trucking industry for quite some time. Um, we're going to be, you know, I'm going to be posting videos of what it's like going through orientation, what, what it's like being a, a company driver, and also what, you know, you can look for in, you know, beginner companies, you know, the questions to ask the recruiters, you know, types of equipment that they run, what all do they haul, stuff like that. Because you need to know these things in order to decide on what company you want to go with. I mean, I could have took, you know, a couple different options for as getting out of the military, getting my CDL for, you know, you know, very cheap and stuff like that. But you know, I didn't feel as though it was right for me to use a benefit from the military and you guys never get to reap the benefit of being able to do the same thing that I did. So what I want to do is come bring the information to you guys as basically a, a regular person. So, you know... Prime offers the driver's trainer program for $155 fee, which, I'm sorry, you know, 
I'm going to pay that in order to go with them. I know there's other companies out there that, you know, you can go to under their driver's trainer program for free. But, you know, hey, people, you know, have their choices and decisions to make in life and they got to live with those consequences. And as long as you come into the trucking industry with a good mindset and that you're going to do this and that you're going to be good at it, you can do anything. Like me, I have goals and dreams that I'm going to be accomplishing with this new job and new career. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss more about it as time goes on. I'm not want to be one of those fly-by truckers at night type deals or anything like that. But what I want to do is, is you know, share information as I learn. And I'm not saying that I'm going to make a video every single day or anything like that, but at least once a week there will be a video up posted showing you guys what you can expect and what you can look for as far as being a company driver. And then we'll get more into detail about, you know, other things that you can do as far as like being a owner and operator, lease driver, or anything like that as time progresses. But right now, you know, the main focus is, is to get into the business, get into the industry, and learn as much as you can before you make that next step. Well, I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. Hey, y'all could be anywhere else, but y'all are watching Veteran Trucker here talking. So, hey, y'all have a good day. Be safe. And um, look at this here view right here. So, hey, y'all stay safe out there and be strong. See ya.